Hello everyone. So today let us talk about uh, the schedule task feature in uh, org mode. And uh, this is something that of course we all use in case uh, you are also using org mode. Uh, now what I wanted to talk about is that uh, in case you have uh, one activity that you want to schedule maybe on the same day multiple times. For example, I do have one activity that I do in the morning, like four o'clock from four o'clock till uh, seven o'clock in the morning, which is usually my main activity of the day, which I try to do, uh, which is of course a bit difficult task, you know, you know, the most important task of the day, because that is the only time when I have uh, absolutely f no distraction at all. So that is of course one activity, but from 9 a.m. onwards, I, of course, you know, do other activities that are probably, I mean, those activities are important, but they are probably uh, not that important as, uh, you know, the main activity that I do in the morning. But sometimes I also have to do the same thing twice or maybe thrice or basically if I have uh, uh, a task that I want to repeat uh, or maybe that I want to continue to work on, uh, maybe in a different time slot, I can do that. But to, because I, I like tracking things, I like uh, looking at my agenda, my org agenda, to tell me what I need to do. It can be a bit difficult to, you know, use the normal schedule feature. So this is something, you know, that you can do with org mode. I mean, when you have uh, one activity that you want to plan, you can, of course, you know, use this option here where, uh, you know, let us say this activity, let me just create a, create a new uh, task here. So this is, a, this is one task. Let us say I have to do it... Uh, this needs to be done in the morning. So you can do this and to insert a timestamp using, you know, schedule tag, you can use control C, control S. And then when, when you're entering the time, you can actually enter something like four o'clock and maybe seven o'clock. I mean, you can define the range, uh, you know, the time range. And this is of course, you know, great because now you can uh, work on uh, the activity and this activity will appear in your uh, agenda when you are looking at uh, your agenda from your you know org agenda command and let me just try to just uh, do this here so this is of course the activity that I you know that I was trying to show you so this is this is of course going to appear in the in the in the agenda file but agenda you know buffer but this is uh, not desirable when you have to do the same task again. And uh, I was looking for, you know, the, the, the best way. And one simple way of doing it is to insert uh, one more activity. Like uh, this is uh, another task similar to the first one. And uh, you can, of course, you know, maybe schedule it to happen at nine o'clock, right? So this is something that can be done. It is again a, a different activity altogether, nothing to do with the previous one. And I mean, you can just write, write it yourself. I mean, you can define a new task. But I was thinking that it is probably uh, repeating or there is some uh, duplicacy because uh, I'm basically, basically doing the same thing. For example, these days I'm working on app development which I want to, I don't really want to create a new task for it because it is, you know, it doesn't make, make any sense, at least for me. It might work for you, but uh, not for me. So what I did, what I, what I ended up doing was basically using a simple way to use uh, one more date. So what you can do is you can remo remove the schedule tag completely, you know, schedule keyword here and insert one uh, date. And uh, you can basically say here that I want to do this on this day, which is today, and maybe from nine o'clock till 12. And that is it. Uh, now this will appear in the agenda and you will basically notice uh, two entries for the same task. And when you are logging your time, um, of course, you know, log, log time when you're working on this activity, because you will get two entries. So just work on the entry that you want to work on, which is, you know, let us say if you're working on like on this task, at four o'clock in the morning, you can. And by the way, your uh, repeaters will work. 
So if you want to do this maybe for the next couple of days or maybe you know you want to repeat the same task multiple times, you can have uh, your repeaters. So you can actually work on this task. Let's say you do this task uh, and you are maybe deliver like finishing it. So just just keep on uh, you know changing the date. Now this date will I mean when you when you are on the agenda and when you mark it as done, this will then appear. Uh, again for the next day that the repeater will ensure that this is repeated and this is something of course uh, i prefer and i thought i'll probably share it because you might be looking for uh, something similar a very simple way of doing it but uh, uh, i'm sure there is a th th there is probably a better way for a specific requirement so do let me know if you have any suggestion for me inserting two dates worked just fine because I just want to look at my agenda, uh, the same activity maybe twice or, or thrice, and that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And by the way, I am recording this video on 31st of December, but you will be watching it in case you are watching it. Uh, you will be watching it on 1st of January, 2022. So happy new year to everyone, and thank you very much for your support uh, and for following my channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.